Hi students, I am Pravin Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing the UML behavioral diagrams. The UML behavioral diagrams visualize, specify, construct, and document the dynamic aspects of a system. The behavioral diagrams are categorized as use case diagram, interaction diagram, state chart diagram or state diagram, and activity diagrams. So when we come to the use case model, a use case describes the sequence of actions a system perform yielding visible results. It shows the interaction of things outside the system with the system itself. Use cases may be applied to the whole system as well as a part of the system. When we are discussing the term actor, an actor represents the role that the users of the use case play. An actor may be a person like student or customer, a device like workstations or computer or some other devices, or another system like banking, institution, web portals, etc. This figure shows the notation of an actor named student and a use case called generate performance report. So when we come to the use case diagram, the use case diagram present an outside view of the matter of the elements in a system behave and how they can be used in the context. A use case diagram comprises of use cases, actors and relationships like dependency, generalization and association. The use case diagrams are used to model the context of a system by enclosing all the activities of a system within a rectangle and focusing on the actors outside the system by interacting with it. To model the requirement of a system from the outside point of view, we are also using the use case diagrams. So if we are considering an example, let us consider an automated trading house system. We assume that the following features of the system are included like the trading house has a transaction with the two types of customers, individual customer and corporate customer. Once the customer places an order, it is processed by the sales department and the customer is given the bill. The system allows the manager to manage the customer accounts and answer any queries posted by the customer. So these actors are represented by the actor symbol and the processors are represented in ellipse or in a circle manner. All the processors are enclosed in a rectangle which shows the system enclosure. So my dear students, next we are discussing the interaction diagram. An interaction diagram depicts the interaction of object and their relationships. They also include the messages passed between them. There are two type of interaction diagrams like sequence diagram and collaboration diagram. The interaction diagrams are used for modeling the control flow by time ordering using a sequence diagram as well as the control flow of organization using a collaboration diagram. So when we are coming to the sequence diagram, the sequence diagrams are interaction diagrams that illustrates the ordering of messages according to time. So the different notations are, these diagrams are in the form of two dimensional charts. The object that initiate the interaction are placed on the X axis. The messages that these objects send and receive are placed along the Y axis in order to increase the time from top to bottom. For example, the sequence diagram of an automated trading house system is shown in this figure. So my dear students, we will detail this type of diagrams in the upcoming set of lectures. So dear students, next we are discussing the collaboration diagram. A collaboration diagram are interaction diagrams that illustrate the structure of the object that sent and receive messages. In these diagrams, the object that participate in the interaction are shown using vertices. The links that connect the objects are used to send and to receive messages. The messages are shown as labeled arrow. For example, the collaboration diagram for the automated trading house system is illustrated in this figure. 
and we will detail these set of diagrams in the upcoming lectures and now we are discussing the state chart diagram or simply a state diagram a state chart diagram shows a state machine that depict the control flow of an object from one state to another a state machine portrays the sequence of states which an object undergoes due to events and their responses to events a state chart diagram comprises of states that is simple or composite state second one is a transition between the state third one is events causing the transitions and fourth one is actions due to the events a state chart diagram are used for modeling objects which are reactive in nature for example in the automated trading house system let us model the order as an object and trace its sequence the figure shows the corresponding state diagram so we are receiving an order we are processing it after processing we had accepted it and finally we delivered and go to the final state during the process if we are not ready to accept that order we can also reject the order and go to the final state so next we are discussing the activity diagram an activity diagram depicts the flow of activities which are ongoing non atomic operations in a state machine activities results in actions which are atomic operations the activity diagram comprises of activity state and action state second one is a transition and third one is objects the activity diagrams are used for modeling the workflow as viewed by the actors interacting with the system and the detail of operations or computations using the flow charts for example this figure shows an activity diagram of the portion of the automated trading house system which we mentioned earlier so here we can see three different actors customer sales person and store and each of the individual steps or processes are mentioned in this diagram and these steps are known as the different activities those activities include place order process order deliver order update the stock bill the customer receive order payment details and finally delivering and closure of the orders so my dear students these are the different behavioral diagrams in unified modeling or uml so my dear students the uml behavioral diagrams visualize specify construct and document the dynamic aspect of a system and the behavioral diagrams are categorized as use case diagram interaction diagram state diagram and activity diagram so my dear students hope you had understood this topic so dear students kindly go through the assignment question our question is write notes on uml behavioral diagrams So my dear students in the upcoming lectures we are discussing in detail about each of these UML diagrams that is both the structural diagram as well as the behavioral diagrams so dear students see you soon until then goodbye thank you and all the best